Hey guys, it's Ultimate Armadale, and today I'm going to talk about gear for Race 3 Tomb of Damascus. Uh, this question has been brought up a lot in both the Discord and actually just people asking around, and I feel like making a video would save everyone a lot of time. Um, but let's jump right into it. First of all, we need to understand Tomb of, Tomb of Amaska is a very melee heavy gear, which means any gear that's not specialized should be focused on melee. And I'll show you what these gear are in a bit. And I just wanted to give a shout out to all my friends, the Tomb of Amaska's Discord, for all the support and help you guys have given me. I really love you guys. Uh, and thank, thank you all the subscribers who have recently subscribed. I am very close to finishing the part two of the solo guide for the normal entry mode 150 invocation. So with that said, let's jump into it. Melee heavy. You want to really bring as much best install as possible. For example, Berserker Ring in view, right there. Next for the boot slot, you want to bring prims. I currently have dragon boots because I cannot get the prim crystals. But next item is the offhand. Obviously a dragon defender or an avernic defender would be really good. And then for the helmet slot, you have many, many choices. I'm currently just wearing a normal nest knot. The next upgrade will be a face guard, which is plus three strings. Now, Serp Helm is only plus two strings, but Serp Helm is really nice because you will not get poisoned when you wear it. A support, or Venom, which is pretty important for saving some supplies here. Lastly, Torva Helm is obviously PS plus strings. Next, you have body armor and cape. For body armor, you want to bring either Bandos or Torva body armor. That will give you really good DPS boost. And for the cape, you obviously want Inferno cape or Fire cape. Obviously, the Inferno mask cape would be best, but that is a very hard achievement, and if you have it, kudos to you. Next, let's talk about weapons. Stab is definitely the best. It is best at Kefari, it is best at about the Monkey, it's probably even best at P3, uh, not P3, the P1 Wardens. Uh, just get the best stab weapon you can. Now Slash is doable if you have the size. And Crush is suspected to be decent, but because we have no data, we cannot confirm it. The order of DPS currently is Faint, which is the drop from this raid, being the best. And that followed by Rapier, which is pretty much just as good because Rapier attacks faster. After that, you have things like the Hasta, the Abyssal Dagger, um, and even like Blade of Salador. And then lastly, you have the Cares, which honestly is, is not good at all. You should not bring the carrots here. You notice I do not have the carrots here. So don't bring a carrots unless you're very new and want to try it out. It's just not that good. Rape here will definitely do just as much damage as the carrots on Kafari. And Rape and, Kaf and Kafari is the only place you need the partisan carrots. Next, let's talk about Mage, which is the second important combat style in raids. First of all, we have legs, arm, I I'm bringing arms, legs, and arm top. And the upgrade is obviously Ancestral Legs and Ancestral Top. The reason for this is not only because of the DPS boost, but also because some parts of the race are suspected to be based on the accuracy of Mage. For example, the Warden P2, that damage might be based on the accuracy. Uh, also, obviously, you have the, the drop, the uh, Shadow of Talkman, which amplifies all Mage accuracy and damage. So Mage is really strong here too. We cannot forget about Ancient Magics. Ancient Magic is very meta here. I actually have a separate video on this. Please check it out and to see how strong it is because you can freeze uh, crocodiles, you can heal off of minions, uh, heal off of the monkeys. It's very, very good here. The alternative is Thralls, but here's my bag, uh, my uh, room pouch for Ancient Magics. You can also bring Thralls, of course, for extra DPS if you're really good and don't need Blood Barrage. Lastly, our main hand mage weapon, which ideally is a four tick mage weapon that is very strong. So here we have things like the Sank Staff, the, uh, the, the one I have, which is the Toxic Trident. It also can do Harmonized Warp, and of course the Shadow of Talkman from Raid is drop from this Raid. You may have noticed that I don't have a tank legs, but I have a mage and a range legs. 
That is because I currently only have a Vandal's Tacits, which is only plus two strengths. Not really worth the inventory space. I could have a Boo. If you have Torvalex, it is worth it to do. So get max strengths, remember. Still, that's the meta. Lastly, let's talk about ranged. So ranged is it's still used, but it's probably the weakest of the three combat styles in this raid. Armadale Full obviously is great, but Masori is best, of course. For the cape, you have the Avis, this, or the uh, Max Avis cape. And for the weapon, you have the ACB, which is what I'm using, but there are a few other choices like the F Bow and the T Bow that you can use. There's an alternative to bring Armadale and that is to bring full crystal, especially if you have bow of Farben, because that will increase its damages. But the most important reason that you want to bring crystal is for less switches. Crystal armor does not have any negative melee bonuses, which makes it very good. So you can actually not, if you don't want to bring it, don't bring the Vandal's play body. It's only plus four strength. Lastly, you'll need a bunch of special weapons as well. Toxic Blowpipe being the first one. It is very important to blow to blowpipe certain mi minions for health and faster kills. For example, in the Kafari room, you can blowpipe the swarms and it will always do maximum damage. You can always you can also blowpipe the boulders in Baba's room to kill them really fast, which will give you a chance to attack Baba after you kill one of the boulders. Next, we have the Dragon Dagger. This is a throwback to a very original old school weapon. This, this weapon is actually the best damage because of the adrenaline potions, which lets you spec 8 times with it. That's 16 hits. Next, we have the BGS, which is better than a Dragon Warhammer in this raid because of the low defenses of the bosses. And the BGS can lower their defense up to only to a certain point. Currently, based on this information here. So don't, so don't bring a, a hammer, bring a BGS because BGS reduces absolute defense instead of percentage. I know we haven't talked about jewelry yet, and part of the reason for that is there's just been so much gear, you know. There's so many switches, but for the amulet, I bring Fury because it's all around, but a, bit, a Blood Fury would be a lot better because then you heal, right? For gloves, barrel gloves is again all around, but an argument can be made to bring ferocious gloves um, that will give you more damage, of course. And then for the other gloves, the Tormented Bracelet, which gives mage accuracy and mage damage boost, it's also worth bringing if you have it because that is really strong in this raid. Hey, but what about full void? That's less switches, right? Which means more food. I would suggest not. Theoretically, full void is very strong here as well, but I actually tested this and it was very bad. I might make a video in the future to do a run with it. It just felt very underwhelming. There's another item, the Light Bringer, that drops from this raid, which increases your special attack regeneration rate. This is a very interesting item and will change your meta a lot. So far, we're not really sure how good it is yet, but we know for a fact it will be BISM next when you need to spec with the Zera crossbow. So I think it will have very good use here in this raid as well. And that concludes it today. I believe I covered almost everything I can think of. And right now it's only one week after release. So if anything changes, then it's possible that the meta will change, right? So if anything changes, then please do let me know. And thank you again, everybody, for all the support you've shown. Thank you to the subscribers, to all the, the Discord people who answer questions. I really appreciate it if you could give a like and subscribe to this video if it helped you and maybe spread the word because I feel like a lot of people ask the same question. So have a good day, everyone. Bye.